So you thought I wouldn't notice fifty thousand dollars missing from the sludge fund? Huh? That was the most convincing I've ever seen. <laughs> stuff I couldn't film because the people prohibit you from taking footage of inside the offices and, and yesterday it was just upsetting because we didn't get to film because it was just so top secret like we had to be checked in and they checked all of our IDs and everything and so I really wanted to film that Amblin logo they had an Amblin and DreamWorks logo right before you come in I don't even know if I'm supposed to be talking about this but I'll talk about it anyway because I wasn't told not to I was told I couldn't take pictures um, but I wanted to take video of it because it's just, it was su such a cool moment to like arrive at a place where, you know, potentially Jurassic Park and all those phenomenal things were developed. And um, yeah, so today we will be going to. Aquaman, Henry Cavill's Superman, The Flash, Mother Boxes from the movie. What are you playing, Kofi? Yeah. You never, you never played Injustice? No, no. In, Injustice, you said? Injustice. Yeah. Uh-uh. Huh. Oh, cool. This is Injustice, too. Awesome. Flash. I'm going to head to the second floor. Going into Harry Potter world now. Hello, how are you? So all of these are actual props from the movie? This is a replica, but everything else, yes. Oh, this one is the replica. Yeah. Okay, everything else is the... Okay, word. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hmm. Okay, replica here. This is the actual Harry Potter wand. And the glasses. And the letter. Mr. Potter, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Woodcraft and Wizardry. Students shall be required to report to the chamber of reception upon arrival. Huh. Yep, that's the Harry Potter one, the actual one they used during the movie. Actual glasses prop of Harry Potter. Those are all some artwork, concept artwork for the film. This must be from Hogsmeade Village. Some newspaper articles. Oh, we got some costumes here. Got a Horcrux. Marauder's map. Oh my god, I've got to take a picture with Dobby. Okay, this guy, this guy here, Dobby. Dobby is my friend. He is so misunderstood in the series. So much detail on this one. You can see in the eyes, the glossiness in the eyes. Look at that. Look at that. So much detail. So much detail there. God, it's like chipped. The nails are chipped up. Name. What's the spider's name? This is the only part of the tour that I'm allowed to video, as told by the the audio tour guy, the I mean the tour guy at Warner Brothers. So okay, I'm gonna get a picture here real fast. These are also yeah, yeah of course. These are the costumes. Harry's broom. Is it Harry's broom? These are all actual props used in the movie. Oh okay. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, 2001. This is the Nimbus 2000. This is, uh, this is, everybody, oh wow, that's, they just kept that just like that. It looks like he vomited on the, uh, <laughs> Harry Potter school robe, Ron Weasley school uniform, and Hermione Granger school uniform. Wow, this is the Godric Gryffindor. Sword. The Tri Wizard Tournament Cup. It's good. This is, uh, we're getting into Fantastic Beasts now. Huh? You like Harry Potter? Oh, I love Harry Potter. What would you say is like, is it like, like wizard? What, how would you explain the genre? The genre? How would I explain? It's uh, fantasy. Fantasy. Yeah. But what's he fighting on? He's Other he wizards or 
like like the devil. He's basically fighting Satan. Oh. It's okay. essentially. His name is Voldemort, and oh, <laughs> right. that's, that's his name. He's but he's he's basically he's Satan. Harry Potter, oh, really? That's why we're trying to understand. Oh, <laughs> he's basically fighting Satan for seven movies and trying to defeat Satan. That's excessive. Yeah, that's basically that's excessive. <laughs> because he's he's basically yeah. Seven movies. Oh, I'll, I'll start off with the first one. Um, yeah. yeah. You you should, I just like. And then the third movie is a lot different because they're a lot older. So it's like oh, there's a lot of teenage. Themes in it, oh, you know, okay. and then it kind of grows grows with them. Yeah. You guys like the children version better? Um, all of them are all good. The okay. older ones are a lot darker. Oh, the older ones are a lot darker. So like they get a lot more violent, and people just start dying. Yeah. Okay. And, <laughs> yeah. This is from Michael Keaton's Batman. According to our tour guide, they all work. So that's amazing. That is amazing. Batman. Sheesh. Oh my god. It's a statue when he died. Alright, we should do color this time. Wow, that is the Bat Pod from 2008 Dark Knight Rises. Wow. Tumblr. All right. This is also from the Dark Knight Res. Oh, sorry. Whoa, did not see you. Yeah, and that's the bomb behind me. Behind me is the bomb for the Dark Knight Rises. It looks awesome. I'm gonna get a close up soon. Beautiful. Which Batman is this one from? Oh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger Batman, the one with him as the bad guy, as Mr. Freeze. Like an original Batmobile. Incredible, look at that. Let's see inside. All right. So, he said this was in The Hangover. Prop weapons from 300. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. This is the CW. We are about to enter. I don't know. I highly doubt that we'll be able to film inside. That's why I'm getting this as evidence. Pretty sure we're not going to be able to film upstairs when we're talking to the executive. based on true stories, but it could also have been an original idea inspired by something we read or something we heard about or just an idea we had. And I was doing what I should not have been doing at the time, which was I was on Facebook. And um, this is so ridiculous. And so some, one of my estranged acquaintances from high school, you know Facebook is, like, who are all these people I'm friends with, uh, posted this story, it was a Vice article about this guy who infiltrated the clan in the 1970s and she said something along the lines of like you know waiting for the movie version of this and i read the article i went down the rabbit hole i saw that there was a book i ordered the book on kindle i showed i informally told them about it and i was like this has got to be set up somewhere this is like too good to be true someone has to have the rights and so you know we looked into it and no one had the rights uh we, we read the, the book, book. We, we read the book, we're like, this could be something. We contacted the author, we contacted the authors, uh, the, the publisher of the book. There was an email address for the publisher in the book, and it was an independent publisher. This thing wasn't in bookstores, thankfully. Now, let me take a second. In meetings, I say, we contacted, no, Charlie contacted <laughs> the author. Um, this is another thing uh, with complementary skills. I'm not necessarily the type of person that would take 